Alright, so... So this is day two of my haul, so let me just collapse the tricorder and just... That's damn tall! So let me give you a fucking comparison. Um, la 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 la... So, like, again, my Yu-Gi-Oh card deck holder, so it's one, two, three, four, roughly a bit over four. That's what's pretty goddamn tall. So let me cut this down to size. Show you what to eat. Uh. So let me just go by order, which will be but these first, so this is fucking. Kamen Rider Ichigo original version. This is a recent addition to the Ah, oh, far back can I bring this? There we go. So this is Kamen Rider Ichigo, but in English it's just Mask Rider 1. Here's a shocker slash rider emblem. And this is like the second rendition of this because the original one was the Shen Ichigo figure, which if you watched anything like from Decade, then that suit color, that's like the final suit color for him and Nigo, so that's why they call it the Shin. Aspect. So this is part of the MG figure, as I said before. Bandai, here is front back, and this is a little write-up. Probably an overview of the Kamen Rider series. So, so the stand comes with all of them. And this is interesting, because... This is how they did the compound eyes effect for these type of figures. Come right it on, everyone's face back. Model kit, warning hazard. Here is back, and here's the original one. This is the Kamen Rider Shin Ichigo. So this is the kanji for Go. There it is, same thing. This is what you get. It's basically it sorted out like a Gundam kit. Some of the parts, the accessories. You can do the Kamen Rider pose. The muffler can move about of its free will, just like the SH Fairy Arts one can. So this is this is very, very exciting. And the second one, I have thoughts from this is the um the. Anime Expo 2012 Gundam exclusive figure. So this is the RX Zero Unicorn Gundam 02 Banshee Destroy Mode High Grade Universal Century figure. 
And this is a special box because normally it's not set up like this. The cover art is not set up like this. It's usually uh, a vertical line, which is the, f the figure art here. So what this is, this is a an opaque version of the figure. So if I show you the front slip here. So from the original release of this, I can tell you, there is a more purple coming on here. It's more blackish, and the orange, the clear orange here is more of a glittery kind of orange, and there's actual gold parts here. So if you bought, if any of you Gunpla fans ever bought the original release of this, you would know that um, the cycle frame was a more metallic, orangey. Those they're trying to pass off a, a pseudo gold, like pyrite. This is very nice, the one forty fourth scale. So these are the only two Gundam. This is the second unicorn Gundam that I bought. The first one being the. Unicorn Gundam um, Unicorn Mode, which is, you all guys know what that is. Because this is the pilot for the Unicorn Gundam. This is the mysterious pilot from for the Banshee. Actually, what the fuck am I doing trying to unbox this? This is a later video. Mofo, see that? You're an idiot. And here are the last two things I bought for it. This is the... Uh, actually, just let me t clarify. Ichigo, $35. Um, it was $30 for the exclusive figure. And they also had like a Comic Con, the Amaki Maki version, which is usually a gold figure, but for the Comic Con exclusive, it was like white and blue, which is like a regular. The RX 78 Gundam. This is the action based. Base, just $8. I picked the clear version because it would go better. And also because I can use this either for my Warbot Defender, which can use this type of base, or for one of the Unicorn for an action battle, because I'm going to rearrange. Myself, my shelves soon, and this is like last time I got the navigation catalog, which is kind of wet now. So, like last time, there's an overview of the real gunpla, but it's a bit different, so I'll show you guys that at a later time. So, let me get this shit out of here. This very extensive shit. So the second stop that I went to is robotforless.com. It's a it's a store based in Fulton. So Rave Nine. If you want Gundam kits, go here. Cause I can't remember where the hell Fulton is. And here is the Anime Expo 2012 exclusive 25% off walk-in discount coupon. And here's the gist of this one. If you sign up with a valid email, you get a free Gundam kit. And you also get like an exclusive stuff. I forgot what it said. But, um... Here, I got because it's just basically all seven main suits from the Seed series. Um, I got the Buster Gundam, number six, the one for the fourth scale. I'm pretty sure this is a no a no grade because this is the older sets. Yeah. 
so this is oh, I can't remember C because but basing from the Zap emblem there, I'm guessing this was used by one of the bad guys. I don't remember. I remember this being used by a good guy. But I got this for free, so this is gonna be pretty good. And just for your information, I'm gonna review. All right, as I was saying before, um, the, my, my memory card ran out. This is a different one. This is my personal one. It has less space in it. Ah. I will reviewing all these in order. So I can put it in both playlists, because I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, please, that you can put videos on two different playlists. Hopefully, it'll work out that way. If not, I'll just, like, put up a bunch of shitload of links in the video to my list. So, I got this, the next one for a toy hell. This is a pretty good, and this is back here, is a documentary, Transform Me. Oh. Uh, I bought this at a bit below retail price, $15. And it is Transformers, Generations, Autobots, Warpath. So, I'm very happy to get this guy, because I never, like most other Transformer Generations, I never found this fuck at retail. I mean, I had to buy Thrust and Dirge off of Hasbro Toy Shop. It's a bit annoying. And so, the final thing I have is artwork from the artist gather gallery so this is by a guy named Krizil and it is Deadpool and Soundwave which is pretty damn nice so I'm gonna hang these I'm gonna tape these on my wall I'm probably gonna do it right there from my above my bed. All right, let me give you a wee little story, me lads and lasses. I know there are some lasses that watches this. So my bed was not this fucking high before. It used to be lower. What happened was. This, this was like raise the bed up, so I wouldn't be technically sleeping on the ground. Cause before then, just between me and the ground was this, this, and my sheets. So, Ooh so it's higher up now. Uh, yeah. So I will do reviews on all of these. So you guys should go check them out. But it's gonna be a while because, well, it's late. Gotta go to his bed. So stay tuned for more, guys. So does Mofo see that? Sign off for now. And when I come back, and when you guys come back, I'm going to review all these for you.